but when Amway began to expand internationally, most of us here, we had our hands full just building in North America. But one person in, the, in particular uh, was very, very early in the vision uh, of it. And part of it's because he's a real smart guy, and part of it just because I guess he saw something that the rest of us didn't see in those very early days. And so he, uh, he basically was a pioneer. And uh, I remember when we first were considering the international operation, the, probably the first few countries that he was interested in, I just kind of blew off like, you know, whatever, I'm busy here. Uh, but eventually he kind of got me interested in going to a couple other places. And uh, I thought, well, okay, we'll try it. I've got some funny stories someday for that. Uh, and we did try it. But what he really did is he, he, he gave me exposure to the world of international development of an Amway business, and I have never been the same since. Many of you don't know that whole story, and maybe it isn't for tonight, uh, because that's not their whole story. Their whole story is uh, they're actually one of the founding pioneer stories in the Amway business. They, uh, they're one of those stories that anyone who's been around a long time uh, admires because they've been around long enough to earn the respect of people that know what it takes to survive as a diamond and above for 20, 30, 40 years or more. It's very, very impressive for me. They have a very, very impressive family. They have a family that is also a second generation, and you'll see a little bit of that tonight, and nobody deserves it any more than they do. So let me ask you now to welcome with me, congratulate with me, and honor them in every way we know how, brand new crowns, brand new crowns in the business, Pete and Barbara Matz. <laughs> years ago because of a decision he made 45 years ago. People's lives around the world have been touched in a very positive way. I've never known a boss for my father. I grew up my entire life, he was free because of what he was willing to do with this business opportunity. He's touched the lives of people and we are all blessed. My family is blessed and they've been tremendous examples. In our household, we learned we're, we're living a lifestyle a little bit different than most people. And we had things and lessons that were a little bit different also. Years ago, I remember when I wanted to buy a pair of jeans. When I was growing up, I knew my dad had the money. He was double diamond, I think, at the time. I wanted to buy a pair of jeans for 40 bucks. He said, no, I'll buy you the $20 pair. <laughs> so I want the $40 pair. He said, no, no, no. I'll give you 20 bucks if you want to figure out how to work to make the other 20 bucks to buy the $40 pair of jeans. <laughs> so what I did, what he did was give us experiences, not things. And he taught us, if there's something you want in life, you can do it. You can make it happen. Don't let anybody tell you you can't achieve something in life. If you've got a dream, go out and fight for it. You can make it happen. So I'm extremely excited. Been waiting a very long time for this to leave you on the stage here with new crowds, Peter and Barbara. <laughs> 